Hey guys, welcome to the Helpful Solutions Tutorial and this is how to use Find My Shift, a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. So guys, Find My Shift is a cloud-based workforce scheduling solution that enables businesses to streamline processes related to attendance, tracking, payroll, time off management, and more. So it comes with an application programming interface or API. So this application will let professionals integrate platforms with several third-party systems. So guys, Find My Shift can also track forecast staff hours and headcounts in real time while you are scheduling. So Find My Shift guys have also an application on their mobile. You can have it on App Store and you can have it on the Google. So guys, first thing you have to do is go to findmyshift.com and from here this will be their homepage guys first thing we are going to discuss is about their pricing so guys here under pricing they have a free option over here which can handle five team members and one manager so it only has a one week of historical data one week of forward planning and a three week on screen editor and now guys we have a starter which is a $25 per month. So it can manage up to 20 team members, one manager, and almost up to one year of historical data, three months of forward planning, and six weeks on screen editor. And next up, we have the business. So they can manage up to 100 team members and almost 100 managers. So this is a lot. And lastly, guys, they have the enterprise, which costs. $80 per month. I'm down below. These are the information about this subscription. And you can also have here yearly, which can save up to 15%. So now, guys, let's go ahead and go over here on the free and click on get started. So from here, guys, you will have here the names of your staff. So I'm just going to add their names. And once we're done, guys, just hit add stuff and hit yes. So make sure, guys, you have your name over here as well and hit continue. So from here, guys, this will be your homepage. And then from here, you will see all of your members. And as you can see here, the dates. So when you click here on a block, you can type in 6 to 10 and hit enter. And it will automatically have a time over here. And if you click one more time and I click on one hour break and then hit enter and it will automatically add on your time block. And now, guys, we can also drag it on the other time or on the other day. And we can also have it copy. Just hit right click and copy and paste it on another block. So I think this feature is a really great one because it is very simple to use. And guys, you can have here your personalized time schedule for all of your employees. And make sure also to save your progress, guys. Click here, save all changes. And now, guys, let's move on to the staff over here. So from here, guys, you will have here the name of all of your staff. And as you can see here, you will also see the date started. And when you click one of them, you will see their personal information. As you can see here, if we click on general, we can have here their name, their last name, their email address, their phone numbers, and their gender as well, and the date of birth, and also their password. And next up, we have the display. So over here, you can have here their job title, the department that they have. And down below, you can have here a color code on each employee. And next up, we have the pay and time off. As you can see here, we also have a break rules. So from break rules, we can add a rule or a customized rule when they are having a break. And next up, guys, we have the notes. So from here, these are the notes for the employee. So let's say we have a couple of managers. So the other managers will see here the notes of each employee. And now we can update their profile. 
and we can also delete this staff member if the person is no longer working on your business and now guys let's move on to the facilities so from here you will have multiple facilities so facilities are resources that you may want to book such as rooms or machines so now guys let's move on to the outbox on the outbox you will see here the history of your business so if they're logged in or if they're logged out it will pop up here on your outbox so in the outbox you will see here multiple activities that is going on your business so now guys let's move on to the uploads so from here you can also use this platform find my shift to upload a file for your stuff to see it can be a document it can be an image and it can also be a zip file so i think upload is a great feature when you want to share an image or if you want to share a file to work on your stuff or for your stuff to work on your files and now guys we have the reports so over here guys on the reports it will ask you for your consent and we're just gonna check these boxes and gonna go ahead and save my settings and then from here guys as you can see this will be your statistical record of your business so we have here the total hours the shift of our employees and over here our staff that are active and then as you can see here guys this is what i input earlier so as you can see here the chart so this will be the working hours and this will be the date so as you can see here almost eight people work and over here zero people work and down below guys you will see here the total hours by staff member and as you can see Danny russell has over 12 hours on his count and john allen kirsamin seven hours working and you can also have here an option to download it over here we also have an hours by gender and down below guys we have here man hours per day so over here these are the total day of an hour of each employee and next up we have the shift by day and as you can see here a statistical record about your shift and as you can see here as i put earlier i only added two shifts so only two shifts are showing over here so they are 50 50 and over here same thing as well and there you go guys if this video is helpful please like and subscribe and thanks for watching see ya